And now it's time for the Update Health Report with Megan McNerney. Megan, I hear there's a new study about um, how women carry on more worry than men. Yeah, actually, Joanne, no surprise here, but women are a lot more stressed than their significant other. I figured, yeah. With school, work, the economy, and flu season, it seems like there's a lot to be worried about. A recent Health Magazine poll says 54% of women think they worry more than their husbands, while only 12% believe their husband worries more. The magazine recommends de-stressing by getting exercise, finding a happy friend, singing a song, and taking some time out for yourself. Those little bottles of hand sanitizers have been placed all around campus, and since the outbreak of the H1N1 virus, they have become more and more popular. The Center for Disease Control suggests to get the most out of the hand sanitizers, use the ones containing alcohol, and apply the sanitizers at least three to five times a day. The CDC still claims that soap and water is the best way to eliminate the germs on your hands. There could be problems for users of Vicks nasal spray. Procter & Gamble is recalling the Vicks Sinex nasal spray in the United States after finding it contained bacteria. There have been no reports of illnesses so far, but the bacteria could, use, could cause serious infections for people with weakened immune systems. Consumers are advised to discard the product and call the company for a replacement coupon or a refund. There's a new exercise routine that could make Batman proud. The parkour exercise program has people leaping from one solid object to the next. The LA Fitness chain teaches parkour. They say it's for people who are tired of doing push-ups and sit-ups. Experts warn parkour techniques can cause broken bones, strained muscles, and joint pain. And guys, I don't know about you, that seems kind of fun, but a little dangerous. Uh, I don't know if I'll be trying that anytime soon. Well, thanks, Megan. Thank, Thank you. you. Well, Google is a website nearly everyone uses, but not everyone is aware of all the website offers. Two Temple seniors have been working hard to expand Google knowledge across campus. Updates Maggie Zhang has more. This year, two Fox School of Business seniors have been chosen to be representatives for Google. Jessica Du and Ron Parker are serving as the website's ambassadors on Temple's campus. My name is Vaughn Parker. I'm a senior here at Temple, majoring in accounting, and I graduate in December. Uh, currently, I'm a Google ambassador here at Temple. I'm Jess Do. I'm a senior finance major um, at Temple University. I'm involved in Temple's investment fund, the Business Honor Student Association, and now I'm also a Google ambassador. Their job is to plan events to make students more aware of Google application features. Basically, every Monday morning, we sit and brainstorm what events and stuff. And uh, currently, I'm trying to work with the Tyler School of uh, Art. We're trying to put on an art exhibit dedicated solely to Google. The most popular Google apps include Google Docs, Tampos Gmail, and Google Calendar. These applications especially help students to complete assignments and group projects. I hope students, uh, by seeing Google, Google's presence more on campus, will begin to explore uh, Google Apps and use it to really help them with their group projects. Um, Google Apps can save students so much time and effort if they just uh, you know, learn how to use it more. So I really think it will be effective. Students who are interested in learning more about the Google Apps can log on to seminars.temple.edu to find out more. Reporting for Temple Update, I'm Maggie Zen. And now it's time to throw it over to the Update Newsroom where Jackie Dando is standing by with this week's technology report. Jackie, you have some information on a potential new cable option for Philadelphia? Yes, thanks guys. Verizon Fios is finally making its way into some parts of Philadelphia. People in Chestnut Hill, South Philly, and North Philadelphia can now subscribe to the high-speed phone internet service. Verizon says it has invested more than $700 million in the Philadelphia project. The company hopes to become the leading competition for the Comcast network. Some Philadelphia drivers may be giving a financial gift to the city. Police say they will now enforce the new ban on driver cell phone use. Motorists caught texting or talking on a handheld cell phone now could face a $75 fine. Until now, police have only been issuing warnings for area drivers. The ban applies only to handheld devices. Drivers can still use hands-free devices or call 911 in an emergency. And Yahoo has released its list of the top searches for 2009. Not surprisingly, the death of Michael Jackson was under the number one searched item. The King of Pop ends Britney Spears' four-year reign at the top of the list. The website says celebrities and other diversions were the most popular requests. Yahoo says people are looking for entertainment to forget about the recession. 
That new laptop you want for Christmas may not have a long shelf life. According to the Square Trade Corporation, one out of every three portable computers will die within three years. 20% will expire due to hardware mal malfunctions, and 20% will be and 10% excuse me will be destroyed due to spills, drops, or other accidents. The most reliable laptop is made by Toshiba. The least reliable laptops are made by Acer, Gateway, and HP. And guys, there are smart ways of choosing the best electronics. Check out Consumer Reports magazine for info on the best products. Back to you. Thanks, Jackie. Many students are looking to enter the workforce as early as next month, but there are few jobs to stay away from. And here's update Matt Lista with this week's The List on the top five worst jobs in America. The U.S. Census Department wants to help people find a job that's right for them. That's why they created the Job Almanac. According to the government, these are the worst jobs available in the United States. Having to deal with death and low pay puts the emergency medical technicians on the list. Suffering the fury of the ocean is why you don't want to become a seaman. Coming in at number three is a taxi driver. A dairy farmer comes in at number two, and the worst job in the United States is a lumberjack. Having to deal with mother nature, low pay, and few jobs are the reasons to put the ax down. So what is the best job in the U.S.? Well, according to the Almanac, it is a mathematician. This has been The List. I'm Matt Lista. Temple Update will be right back. Coming up on Temple Update in sports, the football team looks to move on to the MAC championship game. And a successful low-budget movie gets its sequel. When Temple Update continues. <laughs>